Yeah, as, as a medical oncologist treating patients with uh, GU malignancies, I'm uh, personally mainly focusing on bladder cancer. We know that immunotherapy uh, as, as a single agent is only um, inducing responses in 21% of the patients, meaning that the rest of the patients receive treatment and they do not respond. And one of the, of the topics of interest, and uh, this has been on, uh, on study for several years, is like, which are the underlying predictors of immunotherapy response? And uh, we have been analyzing the tumor samples of patients that have been receiving immunotherapy, trying to find um, what's the predictors or which characteristics are making the, a tumor to uh, respond to immunotherapy. And we have been knowing for a long time that the amount of mutations uh, is relevant. So patients with high tumor mutational burden, they respond much better to immunotherapy. We know that patients that have enrichment of uh, immune cells in the, in the tumor microenvironment, they respond much better. What we did here is uh, we went beyond the, the tumor mutational burden. Um, we know that there is a meta-analysis showing that the clonality in uh, different tumor types uh, is also much, even much better the, the tumor mutational burden uh, per se. Meaning if there is an increase on in mutations in a clonal uh, like uh, of genes that are mutated, uh, it, it seems that this is going to predict much better the response to immunotherapy. And as mentioned, now there is a third study that is confirming the clonality, the, the high clonality, the high tumor mutational burden, but clonal mutational burden is uh, predictive of immunotherapy response.